In this video, I am making a gift box for my brother's birthday. And to start this project, I'm ripping down this pine board, and then I'm also going to resaw this piece of hickory to veneer onto the pine. This is actually my first project where I've ever had to veneer a board, and uh, it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. What you're watching is actually my third attempt at this. Um, the other two, the first attempt I did, I made the veneer too thin, and then I sanded right through it when I was trying to uh, clean up the board later. And then on my second attempt, I made the veneer too thick, and then it warped when I was trying to glue it on. So, finally got it to work. Um, this isn't usually the traditional way of veneering on a board. Some people will use a vacuum press. I do not have one, so I am just using a lot of tape. Once the glue set and my board was ready, I mitered together all four sides of my box, and you'll notice I switched the angle on my miter saw every other cut rather than just flipping the board, and that way I can keep the grain pattern of the board going all the way around the box. Next, on the short sides of the box, I'm going to cut some little handholds to make this box easy to carry around. And I had the idea to cut these handholds using the biscuit joiner. So you'll see how that works out here. Also, a nice thing with having these boards veneered is that once the biscuit joiner cuts through that veneer, the lighter pine underneath really shows off those handholds. Once I had the box all glued up, I decided to add some strength to it, and I'm going to add some splines using a jig that I'm making for the biscuit joiner. Next, with what's left of the veneered board, I'm going to cut off a lid for the box, and then I'm going to bring that over to my bench and cut some slots with the biscuit joiner to make some slides.
And now with all the slots cut, now I need to build a frame to go around that lid. And I'm going to build that frame out of a darker wood. This is some wood that my brother gave to me, so I'm actually kind of re-gifting it to him here. And uh, it is very dark, very dense, and he works in construction, so he found it on a construction site. And I really don't know what kind of wood it is. So if you know, let me know. By the way, I also made some biscuits out of that same dark wood to fit into those slots and match the rest of the project. And I made those biscuits uh, using a jig that I saw in a John Heiss video. So if you want to make your own biscuits for whatever project, I'll put a card up for that video. And now I just need to join on the top and bottom of the box and then it'll be done. I kind of attached this bottom piece in a weird way. Um, I had this idea to use the biscuit joiner to cut all the way through the bottom panel and then fill in those slots with some contrasting lighter biscuits. And my thought was that it might look like, I don't know, almost stitching. Um, it doesn't really look like stitching. I don't know if I really like the way that it looks, but luckily it's on the bottom so no one will ever really see it. And to finish off this box, I just sanded it down to 220 and then finished it with some polyurethane. And now with the gift box done, the actual gift that's going to go inside is a bottle of gin. My brother really likes gin, so that's what I'm giving him. And to keep the bottle from rolling around and breaking in the box, I'm going to use some planar shavings to fill in the space. And I'm going to get those shavings from the new planer that I got. And I've actually had two other planers that I bought secondhand before this one, and I don't use them that often because they both kind of suck. I probably haven't used either of my planers in a video in at least a year, just because they both have a lot of issues with them. But this new planer that I got works a lot better, and I got this planer from a company called Vivor, who gave this to me for free. So full disclosure, this is kind of like a sponsorship. And if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I really don't do a lot of work with other companies just because it's kind of difficult. I think I've done a total of three sponsorships in the four years that I've been on YouTube, so really not a lot. Companies usually don't give you very good deals or they're just hard to work with. This company was not. They are not making me do a dedicated video. They're not making me stick to any script. They're just want me to do an honest review and they're giving me a planer for free so really hard to turn down that offer and I really appreciate how cool and easy they've been to work with so if you want to help me continue to get sponsorships like this and you need a nice little budget planer I think this is a pretty good option I'm not gonna lie and say this is some top of the line best planer ever because it's actually very basic but I mean that in the best way possible it's not overcomplicated. There's not much that could go wrong with it, like with my other planers, and it does exactly what it's supposed to do, and it does it well. So yeah, this is going to be my new go-to planer. Thank you to Vivor for giving it to me, and if you're looking for a planer, this is on Amazon. I'll put the link to it down in the description. It's got good reviews, and it's about 350 bucks for a 13-inch planer that comes with a stand.